70s closed for snow. What about chaining? What are the different laws in each state? Let's talk about it. It's important. It's winter time. Get your gloves on. Get your chains out. Let's do it. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your chained up host. Today, let's talk about chaining. Holy mackerel, there's laws in every single state. They're all different. What the heck do you do? I'm going to have a link in the description. You can go check it out. Every state listed, uh, state by state breakdown. Break it on down for the chain laws. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look, it's crazy here with the weather. So you got to have the right amount of chains. You got to carry them properly. Everything. Mark, I'm never going to chain. Maybe. Maybe. But if you're stuck somewhere and you need to chain, look, if you don't have the right amount of chains, there are fines. There's some states it's $1,000. And you are going to pay that fine. All right. So some of them we want to go through like California. Okay. You have to have four chains on your drives, right? So a double set. Singles on the other drive. So just a single chain on each side there. And one on each outside trailer. Okay, so you'll have to do that in California when the signs are up. You go to other states like Colorado, four drive tires are chained up in Colorado. Every state is different. In Idaho, single drive tire and a single trailer tire. If you are planning on continuing and they have signs up, you can't just throw a single on each side and go. You have to comply with whatever the law is in that state. Otherwise, you're not in compliance. And be sure to lay your chains out. Now's the time to do it. You should have done it a little bit ago, really. But lay them out. See if there's any broken links. Maybe you need to fix them. Can get your company to give you new ones or buy them if you buy the chains yourself. However you do it. Like some states, like, look, Washington requires you to carry extra chains. So just having enough chains isn't enough. You have to be extra, right? That's what the kids say. Extra. I'm extra. Ooh, I'm basic. I'm extra. Right? That's the story. Extra chains. It depends. Did you know that Hawaii? I love this. Hawaii has a chain law. There's some sit, there's some uh, streets in Hawaii roads that allow chaining. They have chain laws on the books in Hawaii. Crazy. Those crazy Hawaiians. Holy mackerel. You know, Montana needs a drive axle. It's different in every state. So you have to go through and say, all right, what is it in this state? What, how do I have enough chains? You know, you should always have just a full set with you anyway, so that you are in compliance with all states. The more the merrier uh anyway you know a lot of drug companies just hang them either under the trailer i see them under there or the hooks on the tractor so basically if you're going west uh they'll be required to carry eastbound uh eastbound and down bringing your cores uh in from uh you know over in texarkana there won't be as many chain requirements for that kind of load but there's still going to be uh some states have laws like uh, massachusetts prohibits chaining so you just never know what each state is going to do with it. So it's it state by state. If you want to look at it, check out the link in the description. And uh, that's going to be about it. Thanks for watching the chaining episode. It's super exciting out there. Be careful. Be very careful, please. And uh, we'll see you on the next Trucking Answers.